today's video we're going to be showing you how to set up your new Acer computer. So we're going to be just installing the main settings and everything. First time turning on and we're going to be installing as well Windows 10, okay, which is a free upgrade now that your Acer is totally free. Um, so as I said, Windows 10 is free, so we're going to do that upgrade. The power button is right here, so we're just going to press that first of all. And um, if you guys don't get power right away, I suggest hooking it up to some electricity. Now some Acer's will come with some electricity on the battery itself, but usually they won't. So you're gonna need to hook it up. So first of all, we're gonna hook it up. So we have the cable right here and we are just gonna hook it up to the back. Back of our Acer, you guys will see a couple of plugs and we're just gonna hook it up right here. Okay, so some some acers you will see some battery on it already um one of the first things that you guys want to do besides doing the setup is actually wasting the whole battery okay so you guys want to use up all your battery up to almost zero percent and then what you guys are going to do is charge it up to 100 percent you're going to do that for at least three times now we do that because um the battery from your computer and for everything really even iPhones or Androids um, they keep that memory so they kind of know uh, what's zero and what's 100% now if you guys screw up and you guys only charge it up to 40% and then disconnect it it's gonna still work but your battery life won't last as long as it would if you guys did this process that I'm telling you um, so charge it up fully and uh, Make sure it's 100% and then, only then, uh, just unplug it and bring it down all the way to zero. Once you're in zero, plug it back in, charge it up, and do that three times, okay? So don't just have it hooked up to your electricity the whole time. You guys want to leave it and, you know, leave it and uh, let it just drain out the battery first. So this will take some time to set up. We're going to set it up in um, Spanish today. But it's the same thing if you're setting it up in English, okay? Um, the language I'm gonna set up in Spanish uh, by no means doesn't make a difference in the setup way, okay? So first of all, so we're gonna be setting it up in English. Uh, there's English and French. I wish there was Spanish, but there isn't right now. We're just gonna have to install Spanish later on. So we're gonna choose English. Um, all that, we're just gonna leave that. I'm actually gonna show you guys how to change that later on uh, because I do want to change it to Spanish. And we're just gonna click on next. Okay, then just click on the I accept. Email, you guys should put your Gmail account right here. However, you guys could skip this part, which I will. Next. You guys shouldn't skip this part, it's to connect to your Wi-Fi network, so I highly recommend not skipping this. Um, if you guys don't see your Wi-Fi right here, it's uh, maybe you have a hidden network or something, you guys can add your network. So just go all the way down, and you guys are going to put hidden network, for example. Next, um, I usually say customize everything and know where everything's being set up in, a, in the appropriate way, but we're just gonna use the express settings. Okay, so if you guys want to create a Microsoft account, you guys can click on that option and then come here, or you guys can just sign in without a Microsoft account, which is what I want at the moment. So uh, for username, for sure put a username, so we're just gonna put admin. I always recommend having administrator account and then your other ones. I'm gonna put finish. Um, for personal use, home computers, I never suggest putting on a password, but that's your decision. After about 10 minutes or 15 minutes even, um, you'll see this. So right now I would suggest upgrading to Windows 10. It's gonna automatically show you once it's done setting up your apps and all that. And uh, just click on upgrade, which is down here below. So we're gonna click there. On your trackpad from your computer, I suggest always tapping and not clicking. Um, when you guys click on your trackpad, it does wear off eventually and um, they do end up breaking. 
So I suggest always tapping and not having those problems. Anyways, uh, right now, it, there seems to be a problem with this, but don't worry, just uh, put in try again, make sure your internet connection is good, and we'll see what happens. So right now, our internet connection seems to be having a problem, and you guys just have to hook it up. Make sure, again, that your internet connectivity is good, and uh, from there, just do your updates, and you guys will see that everything should go fine. Um, something like this, uh, that you get messages from your Wi-Fi, don't worry about it, that's normal. I, um, I actually wouldn't do the 90-day trial uh, for this type of stuff. Just because I don't like those that come pre-installed. So I would uh, do my own antivirus on it and I would set up all my own software on it, not do any trials, but the full versions of things. So right now it's gonna take some time, but you're pretty much done with the setup. Um, Windows 10, basically same thing. And um, later on in this video, it's just for setting up your language, which I'm gonna change and uh, other stuff like that, more a little bit more advanced. But right now you're ready to use your computer. Um, don't forget, at this point in time, you guys have to go into Internet Explorer. However, don't use it, okay? Just use it right now to download Safari, if you guys like Safari or Firefox, Google Chrome, and other browsers that are like that. Uh, they're much safer and better. Um, for any web page, uh, this always has problems and the uh, virus is getting this really easily. Security-wise, that's the worst thing that you can use. But with Google Chrome, Safari, and um, Firefox, you guys won't have a problem like that. So I suggest using that for sure. Those are for sure things that you guys should do even before using anything, okay? So that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any comments, questions, you can write them down here below in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.